Please make sure you read the manual thoroughly before installing this mount. Tool check. To install this product, you will need an electric drill, a 7 seconds inch drill bit for wood stud installations, or a half inch masonry bit for solid concrete or concrete block installations, a half inch wrench or socket, a hammer, a Phillips screwdriver, a level, a tape measure, a pencil, and an electronic stud finder. It's also a good idea to have an awl or small nail to verify stud locations. Parts check. Check carefully to make sure there are no missing or damaged parts. Depending on your installation, you may not need every part provided. If any parts are missing or damaged, contact customer service by calling 1-800-359-5520 to have the part sent directly to you. Step one, configure the brackets to the back of your TV. If the width between the threaded inserts is under 400 millimeters, position the brackets with tension knobs facing outward. If the width between threaded inserts is larger than 400 millimeters, position the brackets with tension knobs facing inwards. If desired, you may remove the adjustment knobs from the inside of each bracket and replace them on the outside of the bracket. Step two, install the brackets. First, determine the diameter of the bolt your television requires. Hand thread a bolt into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another bolt diameter until you have the correct size. The long bolts should only be used with the spacers or they could crack the monitor case. For TVs with a flat back, proceed to step 2-1. For TVs with an irregular back or an obstruction, proceed to step 2-2. If you need extra space to accommodate cables, recesses, or protrusions, proceed to installation option 2-2 or 2-3. Only standard configurations are shown. For special applications, please contact customer service. Step 2-1. Attach the brackets to a TV with a flat back. Thread the short bolt through the appropriate flat washer, the corresponding shoulder washer, and the bracket. Add a short spacer between the monitor bracket and the TV. The shoulder washer will snap into the spacer when they are properly aligned. Make sure the brackets are vertically centered and level with each other before tightening the bolts. Step 2-2. Attach the brackets to a TV with an irregular back or an obstruction. Thread the long bolt through the appropriate flat washer, the corresponding shoulder washer, and into the bracket. Add a long spacer between the bracket and the television. The shoulder washer will snap into the spacer when they are properly aligned. Make sure the brackets are vertically centered and level with each other before tightening the bolts. Step 2-3. Attach the brackets to a TV for extra space to accommodate cables, recesses, or protrusions. Thread the long bolt through the appropriate flat washer, the corresponding shoulder washer, and into the bracket. Add a long spacer between the bracket and the television. The shoulder washer will snap into the spacer when they are properly aligned. Make sure the brackets are vertically centered and level with each other before tightening the bolts. Step three, attach the wall plate to the wall. For help determining the proper height to install your mount, visit the SANUS website at www.sanus.com and locate the height finder tool on the left side of the homepage. Simply enter your TV and mount information and Height Finder will calculate the optimum location to install your mount. Step 3-1, Wood Stud Mounting. Please note, for safe installation, the LL22 needs to be mounted to two wood studs 16 to 24 inches apart. Any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths an inch or 16 millimeters in thickness. Use an electronic stud finder to locate and mark two studs. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking four hole locations with a pencil, two in the top row of slots and two in the bottom. At this time, it's a good idea to verify the stud location with an awl or thin nail. After you have verified the stud locations, drill four holes with the 7 32nd inch drill bit to a depth of two and a half inches. Attach the wall plate using the four lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before tightening the bolts with the socket wrench. 
Do not over tighten the bolts. Step 3-2, solid concrete or concrete block mounting. Please note, for safe installation, the wall plate must be mounted directly to the concrete surface. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking six hole locations with the pencil, three in the top row of slots and three in the bottom. Using the half inch masonry bit, pre-drill six holes to a depth of two and a half inches. Do not drill into the mortar between concrete blocks. Drilling into mortar can result in personal injury or property damage. Insert the concrete anchors into the wall with closed ends first. Make sure each anchor is seated completely flush with the concrete surface. Attach the wall plate using the six leg bolts and leg bolt washers. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall. Then use a socket wrench to tighten each bolt until the bolt is pulled firmly against the wall plate. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step four, optional click fit. The LT25 comes with optional click fit adapter brackets, which can be used to install power conditioners, cable boxes, and other items behind your TV. For installation, please refer to the manual. Step five, hang the TV on the wall plate. Please note, before proceeding, verify that the wall plate and brackets are firmly fixed to the wall and the back of the television, respectively. Turn the tension knobs on the brackets clockwise to ensure your TV is secured into place. This will prevent your TV from tilting while you are attaching it to the wall plate. Then pull the click stand up into the wiring position. With the help of an assistant, hook the brackets over the ridge on the top rail of the wall plate. Slide the TV left or right on the wall plate to its final position. Then gently let the click stand settle against the bottom of the wall plate. Step six. Cable management. Please note, when the TV is in the click stand position, it is not securely locked into place. Assistance is recommended for this step. The click stand helps hold the brackets out from the wall to give you easier access to cables and the back of your TV. To return the TV to its locked position on the wall plate, push the click stand toward the brackets and gently let the TV settle against the bottom of the wall plate. Then lock the click stand to the bottom of the wall plate to secure your TV to the wall. Step seven, adjust your TV height or level after installation with ProSet. Position a level above your TV and use an Allen wrench to tighten or loosen the bolt on the top of the bracket until your TV is perfectly positioned. You are now free to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel television. Thank you for purchasing the Sanus Vision Mount flat panel TV wall mount. If you have any problems with this product, or have questions about installation, please do not return it to the store. Instead, contact customer service at 1-800-359-5520.